Okay, we're back. And you know what? I'm gonna give uh, Snake Pit a try. It's a bit early, but now I get to not worry about MR troubles. Hmm, RC minus, strength plus nine. Well, that would give me some extra damage, but uh, I don't think it's really worth it. Two separate ring mails. Um, wow. RF plus plus plus. So let's remove curse. So 15 7, that's AC and EV, versus 17 7. So we're actually losing AC, gaining regen, gaining our poise. I'm going to stick with the skin of Zor. Oh, he's faster than me. Forgot about that. That's the one problem here. Uh, let's... Let's phantom mirror him. Then in the future I'll be a little more careful. I don't particularly care about Phantom Mirror. I mean, it's useful versus TRJ and things like that, but it's not like something I'm relying on to, to win the game or anything like that. two of fire resistance that beats out stealth for sure we look we have our end game barding i mean we're very very unlikely to find anything better than that so i'm very happy about that one got some identify we can use real quick scroll summoning sorry to waste that but i wanted to see if that was a requirement um Minus two ring mail. And we'll try on the spear as well. Plus nine. Unfortunately, no MR plus yet at all. Be a little careful here. Surprisingly, this thing is not teleporting stuff next to me. Mm, we're slow. Get the acid on him. And then we'll just wait. First of all, let's identify. Go down another staircase. Alright, we've got Izol. It's the one thing that I was afraid of happening, and it happened. Um, this is where MR actually matters, so the whole idea of me avoiding this crap didn't work. We'll fog, find the staircase, go up. Thankfully, we didn't get put to sleep. Um, this guy's large shield is going to protect him from my shenanigans. you what. Eisel is scary enough even with our poise with that 69% chance. I think I would rather just risk finishing dungeon which is really not that big of a risk. The chance of running into a vampire knight is not high. I was just kind of trying something new out. Uh, hello lamp of fire. We'll take that. Take these sacks. 
and that's about it. Take the fuel as well once we have the money. We'll just mark that down. See if we can't just duke it out with Urug here, and we do. Dagger of Descent. Hmm. Got a ruined door. I think that there's wraiths or something in there. This is this is fine. We're RF plus, so this isn't the end of the world here. Some enchant weapon taking us to plus nine. That's awesome. Book of Beasts. We'll memorize summon butterflies. Why not? Um, we'll enchant up centaur barding. We're still missing um, some artifacts here. Usually with Oka, you expect to get artifacts on every slot. We're getting there though. Floods here, that's cool. Okay, not the vault I thought it was. That's fine. Distant snort, awesome. We're gonna rush over to here, which is where the labyrinth is. some nice loot. Well, well, we found the metal. We know where the metal is. Doesn't mean that we're finding an easy route to it. But digging? Yes, I do. Hello. Hello, gargoyles. Enchant weapon. We don't need enchant weapon anymore, but I'm going to keep it just in case. You never know. We could find, like, a... Well, I might... I might do the whole... Swap to TSO first, get a holy bow, and at that point, enchant weapon would be pretty useful. All right, so I seem to have lied. This is indeed metal, but it's uh, it's the trap metal. It's not, or the trick, the trick metal. Oh, well, never mind. I thought that was going to be, I thought that was going to be like not not the Minotaur. Sometimes you'll see metal in these caves or in the uh, labyrinth rather, and it's not actually the end. Hello. MR plus. That's a no-brainer. We're definitely using that. I'm dropping skin of Zords. We're not using that ever again. Wow. What a terrible robe. Up. 
Not using the fan because fans are awful. Uh, do I want to use Guardian Spirit? I'm going to go with yes. Alright, cool. Up we go. I can drop these needles now. I can drop javelins. Who cares about all that? Uh, read some identify. Well, we got torment. I guess that'll be useful for TRJ potentially. Bose is 27 already. Isn't it fun being a centaur? switch out my ring a little bit there so I have RC plus and RF plus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off scrolls of enchant weapon. No reason to carry them around with me. for me. Let's check D11 real fast. Nope, didn't miss anything. I'm just trying to tab Francis to death, no problem. Could he have killed me? I guess if he had done two max damage iron shots, which is not possible. No, it is possible, because no GDR on spells. Uh, yeah, he could have technically killed me there if he had done absolute max damage iron shot two times in a row with haste. So that was, um, there we go. That's a chance at, chance at death. Whoa, could be paralyzed. This is not good. We want to use fear. We don't have fear, so we're going to use blinking. We're going to use lamp of fire. Come on, speed. Nope. I don't think I've ever seen speed on a non-artifact. It might not be possible, even through Oka. Fourteen percent on the paralyzed from orc sorcerers. It's not really good enough. You know what? I don't care if I get paralyzed if it's just the hornet next to me. I have enough AC now. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Let's see if we can kill this guy before he gets next to me. Yeah, it works. Very good. Let's try on the cloak. Nope. Could have been MR plus is why. Check out Eisel. Still a 32% uh, chance of sleep, so it's, it's no good for me. Actually, you know what? I was just thinking the uh, Iron Shot guy, Francis, probably couldn't have one shot of me, even if he had done the the haste double double Iron Shot double iron shot max damage because we have guardian 
we have Guardian Spirit on, which is one reason I absolutely love, absolutely love that amulet on the right character, because more hit points is the only guaranteed way in the game to not die to certain things. Assuming that the things are hitting you. Alright, we don't need our poise. We already have it. Um, rather have the... Whoa! We got Agonied. Just walk away from all this crap. I should have known that there was a wizard here, and there's there's a guy with a chance to banish me. Learning my lesson from my uh, streak ender, I think we're going to walk away from this guy. This is why I'm telling you, MR is just the most important thing in the game. It's a shame, but it is. Alright, let's get off this floor. Where can we go? Uh, where can we go that doesn't have an MR threat that can just kill me? I can dip into shoals real fast, I guess. But then again, there's Mesmerize I would have to deal with. But of course I can just... That's not going to instantly kill me the way Paralyze or Banish might. Um, I can teleport away from it and things like that. That's Heroism and Finesse. Siren, Avatar... Avatar Song and Siren Song. And Siren Song stronger. So we kill that with finesse. Kill this dude with finesse and heroism. Kill this dude with the same. There's a siren as well. No good. Can't hit these things. Not deflect missiles. Let's try to stay out of the water when the nymph is around. Rather hoping to find an MR item. That is probably the only downside of Centaur is that you don't get much MR as you level up. Book of Misfortune, we don't need anything in here. Yars would be kind of nice to have, I suppose, but I shouldn't even bother because I'm going to go Zen later. I suppose Trog is an option for all this, you know, you get the MR from that, but Trog is kind of a, a trap, because in terms of, well, in terms of that rare but uh, possible problem of auto-exploring into something, you know, you're, you're not, you're not going to have, you're, you're not going to have Trog's hand up at all times, so Trog as an MR solution is just not, doesn't cut it, really. Trying to think of a way to just completely eliminate the chances of that 100% of the time. And unfortunately that is the one thing in the game that is just totally RNG dependent. The only thing that you can do, uh, the only thing that you can do to guarantee that you get some MR, which is on all the time, you know, not... 
Not Trog MR, where you can turn it on, but MR that's on all the time is to play a species that... Wow, snake bite. All right. Yeah, but it's, the only way to do that is to play a species that gets it as it levels up, so I mean... <laughs> unless I want to play, like, a Spriggan, uh, which comes along with its own problems of just not having enough hit points. Even though it's quite fast, and... Very powerful species. Um, not not good for streaking because there's there's always the risk of you know auto exploring into some damage. And unless unless you really want to play with no auto explore ever, you never want to turn any corners ever. I can't imagine playing this way. I think ZXC plays that way, and it just looks miserable. Um, Hmm. How much ML8 do we have? Four. I'm gonna go up. Nice. Now we are getting a little bit of MR as we level up, so. That's good. That'll help me as far as old sorcerers go. I think Elf would be reasonably safe for me to go into. The first couple floors, it's unlikely for me to run into a Banisher. Hello, Jorgren. Um, let's drink Flight. If he petrifies me, we'll... I don't know, we'll teleport or something. Actually, I want to come in real close to him. I want to use silence. What is, what is going on? Just not wanting to get hit. There we go. I had uh, cancellation as well. So I wasn't real scared or anything. guess real fast. I mean, actually, come to think of it, Oka is a pretty good way to get MR. It's not guaranteed, but it, you know, it's, it ups my chances. Seems like the, the best thing you can do here is stuff that just ups your chances, you know? Uh, there's, there's no real guarantee. Floor of Shoals. We can go ahead and enchant up this Centaur Barding some more. Snake Bite's a pretty good find, by the way, because now I can kill those Wind Drakes without too much annoyance. And that goes for a lot of other things as well, actually, like Spriggan Aramages. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
All right. Pretty straightforward. Anti magic. Don't need that. He's just going to chill out in the uh, deep water, isn't he? Let's get him out of the deep water and then kill him with the arrows. These clowns, why not? Wait, what? All right, he has throw ally. And he has throw large rock. Let's, uh, we don't have that much in the way of hit points. Let's fly. Whew. Let's fly over this stuff. Remember, he's like a stone giant, so not to be not to be overly screwed with, you know. How much can he do? Like 65 damage? Hit for up to 45, so yeah, 65 with a large rock. floor. wasn't really intending to do shoals, but this is just kind of how it worked out. Because the MR in here is just not, you know, the, the MR attacking things in here are just not as deadly. I've become a bit paranoid of MR attacks after losing that streak to one. Because the problem is, I mean, so in that particular run, uh, you know, of course I could have just not gone in the vault if I had known about the vault, which I did, and that's fine. But that's not always the case. Um, it was a matter of convenience that the wizard was in a vault that I could have identified. Uh, but there are other MR targeting threats in other places that you can't anticipate in that way. Longbow. Like, for example, Eisel puts you to sleep, uh, hits you with a, like, you, let's say you auto-explore into Eisel, he puts you to sleep, good, good god, um, okay, I guess we gotta blink, these heal wounds, finesse. damage there. When you open up one of these things, it's a real can of worms. Okay, that wasn't half bad. So a lot, of a lot of damage potential from those dudes. It's something you just got to keep in mind. But hey, guess what we got? The rune. One nuts here.
already have a feel. Alright, I think it's fair for me to just walk away from this. like the highest density of nets I think I've ever seen in here. More of an annoyance than anything. Alright, let's drop flame. We'll, we'll turn off polymorph, we'll turn off flame, disintegrate. on these gloves. It's not archery, so I don't care. I might not even trade archery out for this Arlec for now. Do we have Arlec from another source? No, we do not. So, just sort of continue clearing out the floor. Not MR plus on that ring. Bad, bad luck. Sui. Make some steam here. Apparently, I am drowning. Uh, let's emulate. I'm going to do this to guarantee the explosions. It's, uh, it's going to be time for me to leave pretty soon. Let's close this door. I suppose this could be MR+. Plus. Nope! You give me... Oka gives me two different artifact bardings, and they're both just mediocre. It's, uh, it's an enormous number of bardings I've been given by him, but unfortunately... The best one is just uh, RF plus. All right, I I could emulate here. I think I'm just gonna finesse. That was mesmerizing me. Oh, siren. Sweet, give me give me some more nets. Awesome. Uh, okay. All cloud. Nothing particularly useful here. This character. Just looking at my inventory here, I do have a, an amulet I need to try on. Hey, it's Faith. That's great. That's more chances for gifts. That's uh, it's more ammo. Spam finesse a little more and feel comfortable doing it. More nets. Jeez. Maybe I'm just noticing it more because I have trained to no defenses other than fighting. So I'm not dodging it at all. Those two more nets. Uh, these clouds, 
there. Without snake bite, we killed a wind drake. It's like, look, look at how many nets. I have six, and I've probably broken six more. It's outrageous. Did they upgrade the number of nets in here, I wonder? has blink. Of course we memorize that. I'm not going to train it just yet, but I should do that soon. Okay, there's the floor. Try on this hat. We'll wear the hat. It actually has, um, see, 22 AC versus 21 AC. The hat has more AC. I was hoping for MR plus, of course, but no such luck. Hats can have MR plus. All right, so we have the rune. We have Izel waiting for us. 27% chance sleep. We have a wizard waiting for us on D14. 13% banishment or paralyze. And we have orc sorcerers waiting for us in orc, which is only 11%. So. We could also go into vaults, but of course, vaults has all kinds of MR targeting things. Some of the best ones in the game, in fact. It's possible for me to run into an ancient witch there. Wait, there's a rope here I could try on. Too bad the wizard is sort of sort of blocking me there. All right, um, I think he's gonna chill out. I'm like 99% sure he will not leave this little area. So let's finish out the floor other than that spot. Yep, I was right. I'm just going to keep this guy in front of me at all times. Uh, boy. Let's take a step. So that's in between me and him. The necromancer is. He can't do anything to me. Let's use sack of spiders. Let's use sack of spiders. Let's use more sack of spiders. Have we determined a spell book? No, we have not. This is a little risky. Um, sack of spiders again. Okay, this isn't half bad. Let's have them attack the wizard. Take a step backwards, and now I'm pretty much guaranteed. All right, sweet. I didn't even need to be worried, but it's fine. So that's unfortunately the level of carefulness you have to reach. Not MR++. Okay, um, well, that opens up D15 to me. Let's 
cube. I was hoping for MR plus on the short bow, instead I get contamination. We could we could use mutation, by the way, to try to get MR plus, but that's that's quite a Hail Mary, and we might get teleportitis, which is uh, awful, so we're not doing that. Use sack. All right, unfortunately, have to use blink. Use sack again. Doesn't work. Okay, now we're safe. We'll order them to attack and we'll just see what spellbook he has. one all right see see this this is coming down to like my my lack of knowledge about this vault let's train some evocations we're gonna have to use blinking again paralyze This vault may have a couple wizards in it, so it's. I may need to start including D14, D15 in my list of places where there are just likely to be MR targeting threats that can kill you instantly. But again, there's just not much of a solution really to the auto explorer MR problem. You can go into shoals where you're fairly safe, barring, you know, certain uniques. Rolcha, Eisel. There's no really particularly good solution. has plate armor on it might be like a better MR plus it is not hmm. so we've reached the point unfortunately where we pretty much have to go into orc uh, well no we can do snake pit because you just check this out Izo can't kill me uh, not unless I do something really stupid. So we can finish out Snake Pit at least. He, he could put me to sleep, and then he could get me with a huge, huge piece of damage. Uh, and it would be double damage, I think. And it would still not kill me, because I've got our poise. If I look up Eisel real quick. It's just about the same as being haste, you know, double damage. Uh, you know, he can do 120. Minus... Yeah, so let's say the poison arrow. 120 minus some some percentage uh, due to my R poise. So he's less of a threat than I'm thinking, really, than I'm treating him as. He was a bigger threat before when I... What? What? Oh, I have snake bite. Whoops. Actually, I swapped a snake bite there. But yeah, he was a bigger threat when I had less hit points. But right now, I mean, we're, we're fine. We can probably just tab him down. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so that was a mistake. I could have gotten banished. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we're dealing with Louise now. So we'll make these guys. We'll make boxes of beasts. We'll make some more spiders. We'll just let them get banished in my place. So 
So there's there's one, you know, Louise. It's a gear check. You know, that's just what it is. Devs will kind of probably not like that phrase, but I mean, it is it is what it is. It is absolutely a gear check. That's what MR is. It's unfortunate, but if you're not familiar with that phrase, it comes from MMOs where some task is simply not uh, possible to accomplish unless you have a certain amount of gear. It comes from like raid bosses in World of Warcraft where if you didn't have enough gear you simply cannot cannot pass, you know, cannot cannot win. We're gonna drop Berserk Rage and we're gonna turn off Berserk Rage. And it's not exactly totally applicable. Um, I mean there's a lot of sort of mealy mouthed wiggle room you can you can create when talking about this kind of thing because it's like, oh well you you can beat Louise without without having MR. And it's like, yes, you can. And you can do clever things like the sack of spiders trick that I just used to make it a little easier. But uh, the unfortunate reality is that Louise could also get the first hit on you. Even if you're not auto-exploring, let's say you're playing 100% perfectly, you could still take a step, Louise sees you, oh wow, that's, that's sad, a speed longbow plus zero. But yeah, like you could, you could take a step, and even if you're playing 100% perfectly, you're not auto-exploring, you're not going around any blind corners, okay, even if she's at max range, check it out, you could, you could still be banished. And this could happen really early, um, or reasonably early, earlier than your character can really handle the abyss. So, as you can see, it uh, can be a real bad time. Now, thankfully, as far as I know, there's no, um, I don't think there's, other than a Rolcha, I don't think there's anything that can paralyze you that's unique. So you can have reasonable certainty that you're not going to get paralyzed. You just might get banished. So if your character can, if you build a character that can survive the abyss early, then cool. And centaurs are pretty good at it, uh, even if mine didn't survive uh, in that 21 streak. Just partially due to misplays. I wonder sometimes if I'm maybe missing something. Is there some obvious strategy to this that I'm discounting? Again, the most obvious is, is of course Tron, but it doesn't it doesn't really solve the problem. It kind of plays at solving the problem. It solves the easiest part of the problem, I should say. Because if you have time to prepare, you know, you can't walk around with Tron's hand up all the time. If you have time to prepare, it is one turn to do something. You know, there's there's stuff other characters can do too, like like me using my sacks of spiders to deal with big MR threats. Huh. What a what a terrible amulet. that I want to shield. It's a shame that there's no um, big hit point races 
big hit point raises with MR. Um, I may check on that. I guess I could be wrong. I mean, maybe ogres get decent MR. I don't think they do. Oh, we can we can actually check real fast. I think this will work. Apt hit points. Apt MR. Uh, yeah. So Spriggan get the most. Deep dwarves get six. All right. Hmm. I guess deep dwarf is the answer. They get that free MR. They've been nerfed badly. They used to be incredible, uh, like truly, truly broken good, because they could heal themselves instantly with the wands and then recharge them instantly whenever they wanted to. Now there's a fail rate, and it's just like a health, a self, self heal. Uh, so you're gonna. You're going to end up failing to heal at some point, so unless you're playing a good background as well, it is possible you might just die. Uh, Ultraviolet4, who I've been speaking with, showed me a, um, a game where he... I forget what he was fighting. He was fighting something stupid that uh, shouldn't have been there. It was like a D1 Halberd Null or something. Or not, not a Halberd Null, but it was just something with a lot of damage, and he was trapped. He was forced to fight it and he's backed into a corner and he uses heal and it fails and then he uses a self heal again and it fails and he does that two more times and then he dies because it fails every single time so if you can't rely on it actually working within the first four times then it strikes me as an ability that uh, you should assume is not there you know for maximum safety we have our elect, this is no problem. However, with that said, uh, as you can see from the apps down here, DD has great aptitudes. Um, DDAR starts with such good artifice that probably just tear stuff up that way. Could play a DDNE, heal yourself with Vampiric Touch, use BBC. BBC is probably really fun on a DDNE. Now, would that be as fast as a Centaur? Absolutely not. Um, with a Centaur, I can pretty much tab my way to victory from the moment that I get a bow, especially from the moment that I get a long bow. For the most part. Can't really do that with a DD. They can't just walk away from threats the way that Centaurs can. Uh, and their bow aptitude blows. So, the other thing with DD is you're kind of, sort of, hamstrung into, like, you gotta worship Machleb. I mean, you don't, you don't have to. In fact, you don't have to worship any god that, uh, provides healing. You could finish the whole game worshiping whatever you wanted. I don't recommend it. It doesn't sound fun to me, but you could do it. Uh, barring of flying. But I may have to reconsider in terms of like, yes, I would like to be able to win these games quickly, but I'd also like to not lose to something completely stupid that shows up earlier than it should, uh, like a Lair 6 wizard. I mean, if you compare the MR aptitudes here, DD is 6, Centaur is 3, so we would have twice as much. I don't know what that star means. I guess that means it's the lowest. Um, it has the lowest, Centaur has the lowest possible, um, has the lowest possible MR progression. I really, actually, you know, I can't say that 6 is twice as much as 3 in this case, because I don't know how the, I don't know how the actual code works. Um, so it's convenient for me to assume that that means you get twice as much MR per level, but it might not actually work that way. There could be some funky math going on back there. Uh, 
I have not checked the code, but long story short is it's free MR. Something to think about. I want to test this actually. I'm curious if like n naked, let's say you're a naked deep dwarf. You have no MR items. I'm curious at what level you're immune to orc sorcerers, which makes orc safe to do. By the way, as far as hit points go, um, DD's two, and Centaur's only one. So they actually get more hit points total. Bows, that's cute. <laughs> We're 27 bows, so that's funny. Wells of strength. No thanks. Okay. So that's a uh, snake pit. We have two runes. And now we're, uh, we're forced to go somewhere with a lot of MR targeting threats. We're forced to. No choice. Uh, we can go to Orc, which has sorcerers. We can go to Vault, which has uh, ogre mages and tons of them. Um, and we can go to Depths, which... You know, it's sort of an odd order, but we could go to Depths, uh, and we could run into all sorts of targeting things, you know, Liches, whatever. We could also go to Slime Pits, which the only MR targeting threat there is uh, Golden Eyes, which are terrible, but as long as you're on a staircase, you're reasonably safe from them. I'm actually going to cut this video. We'll call this Dungeon Shoals and... Uh, snake pit and um, I'll just consider it some more later we don't have our core um, so that's sort of a problem and we're not gonna find anything in there at all unless we're able to kill TRJ which is sort of a crapshoot right now we don't have portal projectile uh, you know, actually, no, we could kill TRJ if we wanted to. I could use Scroll of Summoning. I could use Heroism, Finesse. Um, I could use Resistance. I could use... Actually, I, could, I would use Haste, not Finesse. Uh, I would use Might. I would use Agility. And we would just stand next to it with the bow. I mean, we'll actually use Nets as well. So, as dumb as it sounds, uh, I'm probably going into Slime next. Just, just with this new renewed focus on MR, uh, just realizing what a threat it is. Again, you know, I realized that with losing that streak before, there are things I could have done differently to avoid that. That's not the point. The point is the possibility of auto-exploring into some kind of MR threat is still there, uh, no matter what you do. So, just a thought. And I'll put some more thought into the DD thing as well, because I think that... That might, in fact, be the correct route, but we'll see about that. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I'm signing out.